Hi everyone, it's Bobby from Fifth Avenue Cakes. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these adorable teddy bear cookies. With a piping nozzle number three and some brown flood consistency icing, begin outlining your teddy bear cookie. Now go ahead and fill your teddy bear cookie in with the rest of your royal icing. Now with a scribe tool or a toothpick, evenly distribute your icing. With a nozzle number two and some ivory flood consistency icing, add in the pads for his feet and his ears. Use a scribe tool or a toothpick just to evenly distribute the icing. Allow your cookie to dry for about two hours in front of a fan or in a dehydrator. Now go ahead and pipe in the snout. Use the scribe tool to evenly distribute the icing for your snout, keeping the top wider than the bottom. Now with your flood consistency brown icing and a nozzle number two, go ahead and pipe the arms which are folded in front of him. Use your scribe tool to evenly distribute his little arms. Repeat on the opposite side. Being mindful to keep each arm the same length and width. Allow the cookie to dry for about an hour before going on to the next step. With chocolate brown but consistency icing and a nozzle number one pipe in his eyes and then with a nozzle number one and black foot consistency icing pipe the pupils in and a little dot of white for the highlight in his eyes Now go ahead and pipe his nose and his smile. Make a nice line with the black flood consistency icing. Use a scribe tool or a toothpick to bring down his nose and his mouth. Use the icing from his nose to draw in his mouth. Place your cookie in front of a fan and allow it to dry for about four hours. Now we're going to stipple or add the fur on to our bear. So with your flood consistency brown icing, go ahead and just add a little string of icing and then with a square brush, just pounce. You'll keep doing this all the way around and up the bear.
You'll want to keep the, stip the stippling off of the pads and the muzzle or the snout of your bear. So I use a smaller brush when I'm closer to the pads and when I'm up towards his face by his eyes and his snout. If you don't want to put the icing in a parchment cone, you can put it in a little bowl. Just keep it covered when you're not using it. This part will take about 15 minutes to dry. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and add in some decorative um, accents. I went ahead and added a little bow tie and gave him a rose to hand out. Thank you so much for watching me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.